guys and welcome back to the kingdom i hope you guys have a positive week this week so this week i'll be sharing with you guys the sprayed edge i did on the lantern's end by colleen hook so here is the cover i absolutely love 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 this cover i believe it was designed by yeah angela carlino um and i just think it's stunning with the skull and the fireflies and all of the bronze foliage it's just it's very very nice so you will be able to see the inspiration for this sprayed edge which is very much this deep purple background the shimmering bronze foliage and golden fireflies um I like how it works with the book, but also stands out. It is one of the more intricate sprayed edges that I've done. I had to do a lot of hand painting on this after I removed the stencil, just to make sure all of the edges were really crisp and clean because there is so much detail in this. But honestly, the results just make me so, so happy. I think they work together so, so well. Um, and overall, I'm very pleased with the outcome. Anyway, without any more wittering, let's jump into that time-lapse. This is the sprayed edge again, all the way around. You can see the light shining off of those shimmering gold fireflies and that bronze foliage with a matte purple background to set it all off. Now, um, obviously purple isn't a colour that was originally in the cover um, or very obvious in the cover. You could ask me, you know, why didn't you go for a black background? Why didn't you go for like a brown background? Um, and the answer is because I thought purple would be a really nice pop of colour to really make it sing. I think the bronze and the gold really stand out against it just as well as they would um, against the black. I think the brown would have muddied the bronze and it wouldn't be as brilliant and as nice as it is. And I think the black would have been too sombre, too too dark for a cover that, although there are lots of um, 
it's clearly meant to be quite dark on the cover it's when looking at it in person it feels quite light um, and I think that was done intentionally and I really really like that so yeah that is why I chose purple as the sprayed edge background and that was a discussion that I had with um, with the customer um, in terms of you know where we wanted to go with that design so yeah what do you think do you like this design would you have done it on a different book would you have done it with different colors would you have done a different design for this book let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below let's get a discussion uh, and i also love hearing what you guys would do creatively as well because it just it's amazing to me that everyone is here talking about books and painting on books and book art um, and i really really love that okay so books we've got coming up soon we've got um an edition of harry potter that i found in the charity shop that i'm going to be painting up we're gonna have a vlog coming up soon we've got the long way to a small angry planet coming up soon um i'm trying to think what else i'm going to also got the woven kingdom coming up soon i've almost finished reading it i got it for my birthday a couple weeks ago so um almost finished reading that so that will definitely be getting a sprayed edge soon um i will be doing uh, a marriage of lions soon as well um this is obviously a slightly different um genre than i normally paint as this is for my grandma so she got this book for her birthday and then asked me to do a custom sprayed edge on it and i'm actually very excited i do love a good historical fiction book and this is this so i may read it first thank you grandma so we're getting into the last few weeks now if you want to buy my limited edition a court of silver flames which has got this wonderful sprayed edge on it wrapping all the way around and you can have custom foil designs on it as well if you like um the, the window to buy this is going to close on the last day of april and then once we've got all the orders you know the orders will go in and they'll get processed and everything will be shipped out um hopefully by the end of may i can't guarantee the designs ever coming back because they have to do a minimum print run of 20 in order for it to be affordable otherwise you know you'd end up paying something like 300 400 pounds for a book which is kind Kind of ridiculous and it will also come with discounts on any other limited edition stuff that i do in the future as well anyway enough wittering from me thank you to everyone who has bought something like i genuinely thought i would only sell maybe 20 of my limited special edition uh copies and i think i'm like I, well I've blown past that let's just put it that way I, I, I can't believe how many I've sold and the interest it's just blown my mind so thank you thank you thank you to everyone who has bought the limited um, special edition copies of A, um, A, Court of Mr. A Court of Silver Flames anyway that is all from me this week um, I hope you guys have positive weeks and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>